welcome back everybody it is the working brother back at you with another talk yet again we've got philip drujinin philip welcome back how are you doing yeah how are you stefan i'm good excellent excellent i'm pretty good considering uh, everything that's been going on in the world since we last talked and uh, how things are shaping up uh, here near me and near you i'm excellent <laughs> yeah, too many too many occasions and events that were possibly passing by us but i still was you know looking at the news looking at the telegram channels and i was picking just the most crazy ones and uh, the yeah. most crazy posts and so on so i was trying to copy it to you so might as well be interesting to cover today because it was recently it was in september it was in october so people might have not forgot about that might not have forgotten about that yet so that'd be good yeah but um the some of the stuff we have to cover today is not only uh you know recent it's the stuff that ties into what we talked about before and uh it's stuff that goes yeah. on in the background always basically like whether you're paying attention to it or not it's always there um but before we get started i want to take a little break and uh, remind everyone this is a comedy show nothing we say here has anything to do with reality um and uh yeah i want to thank everybody who supports uh, the working brother Thanks for all the coffees. Uh, hi to the new Patreons and all that other good stuff. And don't forget, you can check out Philip's uh, channels in the description. He's got a couple of YouTube channels, so like you can find a lot more stuff uh, there about the topics that we're going to talk about today. So, shall we do a meme? Yeah, whatever you wish. <laughs> uh, let's take a break uh, from uh, the actual topics that we're going to talk about uh, Patriots back then tax my tea how about I kill you <laughs> you sleep on Christmas Patriots now I swear if you infringe three or four more times I'm going to vote so hard um, how do you feel about voting uh, as Tavarish Stalin was saying Comrade Stalin <laughs> It doesn't matter how we wo how you vote. It matters only how you count. So, basically, it's, these uh, Moldo Moldova elections, Moldova and Moldova referendum to you showed us all that they are repeating the same old script they did in 2020. Basically, when you uh, go to sleep with 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 some certain results which are you know, satisfying you, and you're pretty sure that your decision has won. And then you wake up in the morning, you find out that <laughs> it's totally wrong. You didn't win at all. And this uh, so-called mail-in voting or voting from, uh, in Moldova's case, is voting from outside of Moldova changed everything. And basically, uh, Moldova residents uh, are now uh, not very happy because these guys are from outside. These unknown people from outside voted for them. So they're going to join the EU eventually, I think. Um, so like you're saying, uh, if the elections are well organized, the turnout doesn't matter, basically. Yeah, that's what they find out. Because, you know, <laughs> as Biden was saying on the meeting, on the secret, the so-called secret meeting with the minorities uh, and the members of the uh, U.S. Congress, which are my, uh, you know, represent minorities, he knew all the way that uh, in 2030, these minorities are going to be majority. And currently in 2024, we can find out that Republicans know that too. And they know if they didn't win, uh, wouldn't win in uh, 2024, there's no way they're going to win in 2028, in 2032, and so on. Probably there will be no country as we used to know. So I think it's um, the script is... Um, running the way that we were talking last year and they picked trump and they kicked out biden we were right in that so currently i i think that trump has little more chances in actually winning uh the the first day vote but what about the 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 rest of the ballots they're gonna be dragged into this case after uh the election day is gonna be over uh, so you're suggesting know. you're suggesting that there might be some uh, election uh, manipulation going on in the future that um, we might see a 
Well, repeat of something we saw before? Yeah, people of Moldova just saw it, you know. So I think what do you uh, mean? if they do the They voted to be part of the EU. They voted to be free and happy and like they wanted to not be associated no, 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 no. with Russia. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about uh, the the, the uh, change of the result, you know, which is uh, yeah, not yeah, very no, explainable. Being... You cannot explain that, I think. So um, we're going to see. We're going to see. It's not... Uh, even, it's like three weeks left, right? Maybe even, even less. Even... Even the like, uh, if you ignore the fact that the ch the results changed at the end of the at the end of the like time, let's say, the difference between the yes and the no in the Moldovan uh, referendum is just like like what point six percent or something like that. It's like but fifty that's fifty point four that's a win. forty point that's eight. A win. Yeah, that's a clear win. Clear win. Yeah, Democracy win. won. Yeah. It's like 51 sheep voting to eat, uh, I like, mean, uh, vo wolves voting to eat the sheep. <laughs> like in U.S. elections, uh, when Trump got a record, a record number of people last time, um, Biden got even more. So they can draw whatever numbers you need, you know, to win the case. And in these, these tiny, tiny difference in some states were, was ridiculous. No one... Uh, about the 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 way democracy works in other countries in in case of russia it works with the popular w vote not the vote from the states right and yeah not the, uh, people who actually know anything about the u.s uh, system of democracy quote-unquote um and know about electoral votes which is what you're talking about um they're the only actual votes that matter in the u.s election and they can be, basically be bought um from what we've seen uh way back even when al gore and bush if you remember al gore and bush exactly exactly when uh, um, you know, the bush brother helped his 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 brother to become president basically but what we know currently is that the situation is more crazy than the last time because uh, even now the insights uh, come from uh, meta corporations. I think a recent uh, O'Keefe, uh, you know, investigation when they uh, smuggled a girl in the contact of some meta guy, and he was trying to tell her that uh, they are deleting all the posts or shadow banning all the posts about Kamala if it's like uh, you know somehow related to elections or her incompetence or something or her history or her i don't know you've seen that the video too i think so no but uh, but i but i saw that maybe i saw the video but i saw this meme this was hilarious did you know it was mm -hmm. her birthday yesterday when when he went to like uh the mcdonald's thing when the mcdonald's thing happened it was her birthday i didn't know that it was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> yeah all this mcdonald's story is very uh, you know uh, very uh, funny but you know you, everything is done and could be uh, you know somehow tracked into this whole logic of this numerology i was talking about last times and if you try to find out that probably mcdonald's thing is also related but you know i didn't check it yet i didn't have time uh, we still have a lot to talk about today, I think, and some of it also related to the election, including the last poll. Maybe we can start with that, it, since we talk about Trump and Kamala. Last poll that just showed up uh, maybe yesterday, and I just checked on it. You can open numerology uh, website I, I, I gave you the link to and check what I'm mm -hmm. saying. It's all Hold clear. On, let me see the election forecast. I think... Why doesn't it open it? Demand this like new Windows updated Windows viewer of pictures is so bullshit. Is this the one you're talking about? Yes. As you can see, they uh, have put Kamala at 38 percent, right? So 38 mm -hmm. is uh, is a clear 33. And if you check on 62, uh, you can also find out very interesting thing. Did I send you any uh, screenshots for, from well, from no, that case? From 62? No, I don't think uh, you did. Uh, you can, uh, where you, is you, this? You, yeah, yeah, I you can, can just do it here. You can just do it here. Put 62%. 60. 62%. Calculate. Come on, mouse. Where are you, mouse? There you are. 
Yeah, uh, 63 and 74. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Maybe we are wrong. 62. Just put 62 first. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a 38, right? So we have mm -hmm. a 38. But somebody might say that's a 62%. And if we, ch we just check that 62% doesn't work, but because it's 62.1%. But how do we check that? That's a very big number. So we have to think, how do we check it? We put 62 as a digit. We put point as a word and one as a digit also. And that would be logical. 62 as a number also, uh, as a digit. Oh. Yeah, because that's how they treat us. They treat us like uh, also we got 38 eventually. But when <laughs> we check and add percent as a, 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 as a word also to here, we, we would see that we, are wrong, we, are, we weren't wrong. And it's all related <laughs> as a 66, OK? <laughs> Uh, and if we check the uh, the whole menu of this poll, uh, do, can you read uh, the uh, the logo of the organization that was performing the poll? Uh, hold on, where is that? Uh, that should be here. Yeah. Uh, Poly market. Just 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 check this polymarket.com and see if we get anything. Polymarket.com. Hold on. They Poly often use it. Polymarket.com. No, 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 no. You can. You have to put dot .com sometimes. Oh, but space dot. Yeah, dot. yeah. Just, just as exactly as 66. it's written. Sixty-six. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. and. It, 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 <laughs> if we go to uh, the, the, the this top... is a comedy show. This is a comedy show. We do numerolo numerological comedy here. <laughs> yeah. If we if we also check uh, Poly Market itself, maybe we can find something else. I don't remember if I did check it. Also, why does it know. not let you do enter thirty seven? No, no, it's nothing. So let's go to the top of the list. Um, top of this. Um, banner mm -hmm. what do we have there it's really no 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 to the very top election forecast so we have uh 2024 election forecast how can we check that just put it all in the, in the in this checker uh 2024 election forecast we get nothing. And let, 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 let's split, split uh, it by the words and see if we get anything. So election forecast, 66. Uh, then uh, if that we have 66, we ha we should confirm 2024. Just re uh, spell it like 2024. 2024. Nothing. Just do uh, then uh, two zero two four no 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 oh two, you mean uh, yeah 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 yes. two, that's, not, that's zero, another way how they help two four nothing on both uh, i don't know what that means nothing um maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe uh 2024 uh there's nothing here because you know but if we have a two, two, four, because zero is not a, a numerology number, maybe that's the case. Mm. Just uh, erase zero. Maybe that's the case that, that, that they are hiding here because zero is nothing in numerology. Maybe they just deleted it from the logic. No, two, two, four. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. No, mm. I don't know. It has to be something here but uh, basically maybe the, the case is here that we have a, an eight because two plus two e and plus four gives us an eight and eight is a well-known 33 because it's like uh you know put together a 33 so maybe we have a th yep. 33 put together because i'm not doing this eight thing very much i do it only when you have 88 but uh a russian vids has eight as a 33 also if it's used mm -hmm. with other 33s 
along the way but we can see it's all used here and uh, probably this is the case so it's not always uh, very smooth to find out the logic of these people but you know when when you add what up you, uh, what do you say what do you say about to people who like tell you that like uh, you know you're trying too hard like you know how like um, it didn't work on the first one and then like you take the number or the like the answer and the, like that means then you t type it out and then that's what actually is the hidden 33 or you yeah. know whatever number in the background what do you say to people like that do you like how, how do you well, answer that you you can find the obvious one very clear and very fast like we did with the percentage right but when you mm -hmm. uh, try to find all the details you have to work harder because you have to understand the logic that everything that's written on the poster is sometimes related to uh, what is written in the percentage uh, in the highlighted area where it's easy to find it okay and sometimes they even say it like 38 33 they you know spell it a couple of times when the uh, you know maybe somebody is discussing about that uh, same picture and saying it so we don't know where this po poster came from it came from telegram uh, maybe on during the tv show they were highlighting it exactly when they were showing it to the people we don't know what these uh, ho uh, you know tv hosts were saying but what we see currently is just a script a scripted event uh, showing us a post that all of a sudden, everybody knew that Trump was more popular uh, all the way, right? He was even more popular than Biden. Kamala, Kamala was never even close to be um, a Biden's substitute, right? Nobody mm -hmm. even talk, was even talking. A year ago, we were saying Biden's going to be erased from the race and somebody is going to be put in. I was thinking it was Michael Obama, but, you know, I was also saying that it could be anybody. It could be anybody. So Kamala Harris, if we check uh, the other case with Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump, uh, how does it all uh, correlate to these 33? We have to look closer to the next thing. Just go back to this website. And as we know, Biden 2024 and Trump, Trump 2024 were all, all the way 33, if you check it in numerology, right? Yeah, yeah, Just we so showed that last time, but I'll do it yeah. live now. Uh, so Trump 2024 uh, calculate and yeah, yeah. what was it Kamala no just do Biden 2024 first oh Biden so people so people understand or calculate yes uh, and also uh, how do we find out that Kamala is also scripted in this logic right uh, we have to uh, check what is left and what is left is Harris Trump. That's what is going to be written on the final results. Harris Trump. And check this one. And we got a 38. Just recently we found two 38s in the plain side, right? Uh, no, 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 no. 33 is 38. If you Google 33 uh, here. No, no, no. Thirty is okay. Thirty-three, just yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's where we have this sixty-six. Remember, we were finding sixty-sixes and thirty-eights on this poster, and that's where it comes from. And then you go to another check, Trump Harris. Now you put D Trump, K Harris, and that's the final. Uh, you know, curtain, <laughs> final nail in this coffin. D. Trump, D. K. Harris. Harris, yes. And you 44. find a 44. That's, that's always, always could be found when you have a government corruption because 44 represents the corruption in the created world. Okay? That's how you find out that it's all related to this case so that's why i was so is corruption huh yeah 44 is clear corruption case i need to break yeah. this up uh, with a little bit of humor um being that you're in russia i'm sure you heard that the north koreans are coming 
<laughs> what, what, what's your reaction to the North Koreans coming and the guide for uh, Ukrainian soldiers to learn the basic se- <laughs> uh, uh, sentences in Korean? I want to save my life. We are unarmed. Um, I give up. I was forcibly mobilized. Don't shoot. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's just... Uh, a scripted story again, but we have to look at uh, it. I didn't look at it yet. Uh, maybe next time, give me more time. I'll take a look at this case more. Why not? Because it's it looks scripted to me too. Um, I Cor- think it's just funny. No, I just, the Korea the, itself, the case of Korea. You know, mm-hmm. uh, when we have you have this core or CR or KR sound, core, core, car, care. It's all related to the same old thing, the reset. And uh, knowing what Korea was passing through all these years, particularly last century, it was occupied by Japan. And mm-hmm. the, the people of Korea were, uh, you know, tortured to death. The people of Korea were massacred. They were exterminated by Japan and were used in slavery and many, 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 many other facts knowing the uh, the thing about korean war knowing that the country is still divided in two parts right knowing that korean uh, artillery recently was put into the readiness uh knowing that they blew up the highway knowing that uh, they have so-called nuclear weapons that can reach united states territory particular island of guam and japan itself Knowing all of that, this all smells like bullshit to me. And um, I think it's just another research, reset script part, which is could be like plan C, plan D for, for start of the, this global war phase, you know? So your take is the global war is coming for sure, basically, is what I'm hearing. Uh, yeah, if, if Russia is going to win too fast, that you know this is what's coming if Um, russia's gonna win slow then this is you know prolongated to whatever period we don't even know when maybe year 33 who knows uh what was i gonna say we've got some videos here i want to play in the background we've got a numerology video that i want to get your reaction to and then after that we've got some elon musky musk uh, and his robot uh i robot we robot you robot we're all robots anyway let's see what this video has to say oh we got like weird music here i'll just turn it down so uh greek gematria calculator Neuralink, and you get 666 in gematria how do you feel about gematria versus uh chaldean numerology well, I think it's all pretty much the same, you know, technology of um, calculating. Knowing that the Masons themselves originate themselves from Great Britain and use English language as their main language of communications. You have to look up for the English, okay? You cannot just go and do it in Greek or Roman, I don't know. Uh, Perhaps you can find some interesting results, but mainly what I do, I do it in English. Mm-hmm. All right, that makes sense to me. Um, Elon Musk announced that you can buy an Optimus robot for twenty to thirty thousand. Let's watch this video. And uh, uh, as you can see, we we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, um, so you can have your own personal R two D two C three PO. But so awesome, man. Scale, the Optimus robot, you should be able to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. Clean up a murder and, scene. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Fly an FPV I, I drone. Be the biggest product ever of any kind. Um, 
more of this event I'll just leave this video in the background of musky musk I wonder if he'll uh, copyright strike this music probably will I'll turn it down so he got out of a car and he got into a car that drove itself and there were some bicycles with lights and then he got out and there was lasers and then a bunch of robots walked out and I wasn't the only one a lot of people uh, got this vibe from it <laughs> do you remember this movie yeah uh, it's an old movie yeah have, <laughs> do you remember it <laughs> I don't remember it I've seen it maybe but you know was it's, 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 it's a good time to watch it again let's put it that way man it's a good yeah. time to watch it again all, all all i've heard about will smith recently is he that he's farting so hard people just running out of, of uh, the uh, pavilions where they film in the movies i don't know that i don't know about his gastrointestinal uh, problems but i do know that he uh acted in this uh movie that back then was scary and nowadays it's just like meh you know it's just like next week <laughs> you know we we got used to all kinds of terrible things how do you feel about the robot apoc apocalypse and, and the terminator and all that stuff i think it's coming it's coming even <laughs> russians right. made him uh, made fetter robot who was so drunk that he couldn't walk uh but he eventually got himself uh, dragged into the International Space Station and learned how to shoot into the in direction of the uh, target. That's uh, what the skills of a Russian uh, fighter robot. But this robot looks more advanced. He probably can uh, drag uh, your uh, wife's mother uh, to the uh, previously dug uh, trench and bury her there okay <laughs> <laughs> he can help around the house do do, do, do whatever it is needed, and, then, needed and then do her job and help you around the house yeah right right um comedy show it's good it's good this is a comedy show um should we go into that trump video uh did you check the robot uh, name by the way let's do it now if no didn't. i didn't What's Let his me name? see this here. Uh, Optimus. Yeah, just do it. I guess it's, it's just 33. like uh, it's just like uh, what's it called? What are they called? The the the. Thirty-three. <laughs> yeah, the go. Never. You haven't seen it, right? Me neither. <laughs> no, I just did it now. Um, not surprising though. I think the the cyber trucks also 33 but you know what they use in that in the article they used as cyber trucks and I checked trucks uh but when you check truck you don't find anything but yeah, cyber it's, trucks. It's, it, it, yeah. yeah it's interesting what they actually put into the article mm -hmm. when they describe things and so uh that's the the the, the, the term itself cyber truck you know transformers be, that's what i was trying yeah. to remember that's where optimus is from transformers optimus prime you remember optimus yeah. prime yeah 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 we had a um a yandex taxi trial uh for for the robo taxi uh since like 2023 i think and mm -hmm. it's still running i see these uh, cars running with no uh with no people inside they're still trialing out them in moscow I see them all the time. Okay, so we do it also. I know, man. Uh, I like. I know about the 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 thing in Moscow, as in in Russia. I think in Saint Petersburg, there's one as well. But the point is, uh, in China as well, and in Saudi Arabia and the Emirates, like there's a bunch of countries which have these like uh, autonomous self-driving cars, which is. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. Should we watch Trump? This is already old news, but it was news to me because uh, Philip actually pointed out that I heard it wrong. So let's uh, hear what Trump, Trump and Trump. done such an unbelievable job for North Carolina, then, for Georgia, first, for Alabama. First, you say how you heard it. 
before. No, let's, let's play it out, and then I'll oh, go okay. back and, and, and say yeah. both. For Florida, for Tennessee, his name is Elon Musk. He saved free speech. He created... So he created many great things. Swear that, so many different he? great Come things. Up, he Elon. created by he by created copy pasting. The first major American car company in generations, and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send American astronauts into space. Come here, take over, Elon. All yes, right. Take over. All right. Uh, we seem to have lost Philip. I'm going to pause this recording. All right, and we're back. Uh, we had some tef- technical difficulties. Um, I just screwed up. <laughs> Sorry. Or, 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 or fat fingers. Yeah. <laughs> it happens to me often as well. Now, where did we lose Trump? And where is my preview gone? Why is my preview gone? How come I don't have a preview here anymore? Um, Philip stole it. Why is this not always on top? It is, but why is it not actually always on top? Okay, now let's go back here and then go previous. And we've got Trump, and let me go to where we were about here. Where is he? Where is he? All right, there's Mr. Moschino. As you can see, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. All right. So that's the, the, the audio file we want. And uh, Philip here pointed out he's not saying he's dark MAGA. He's saying he's drunk MAGA. And at first I was like, no, Philip, you're Russian and I'm Serbian and I understand English better. <laughs> because that makes perfect sense but no actually if you play it back i'm gonna play it back now let me turn up the volume a bit and, and, and play do, it back. do a 0. 0.5 uh speed of the video hold on, hold on. let me do that uh point uh five let's see come on As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. And now you can, can hear that it's dark MAGA, but when you see it's full speed, it's drunk mm. MAGA. That's what the problem is. That's why these people started to say it's dark MAGA, okay? And I understand them, but nobody actually heard him saying dark MAGA, it's just what you can hear from the slow speed, you know. So basically, he's saying drunk MAGA. Yeah. And drunk MAGA, where is my drunk MAGA thing? There it is. And drunk MAGA is also 33. Yeah, and if you know Um, Trump, Trump MAGA, also check Trump MAGA. Trump MAGA. Hold on. Uh, that's this. Uh, Trump MAGA. And yes, not surprising. And as you can see, that's a full, full, uh, you know, uh, double, Spelling, double, yeah. penetra- double penetration <laughs> for, for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trump. Um, and then we've got this other clip uh, that you sent uh, with Glenn Beck. And Trump on the phone talking about who the real president is. Uh, Let me play that in the background. Actually, the president, Mr. President. Well, I think it's a it's a committee of people and they might not even know who the committee is. They may not even know themselves. Does that make sense? It's a group of people uh, that are. D.C. and uh, they surround a man that was not. the most capable person, yeah. by the way, never was, right. but certainly not anymore. Yeah. And she's worse than he is. She's worse than he is. 
And the difference is she was a believer. You know, she was a believer for a long time. She yeah. was a Marxist right. for a long time. She's further left than Bernie. You've heard that many oh, times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk <laughs> about it. But she's further left than uh, Pocahontas, okay? Pocahontas <laughs> is probably further left than Bernie, I think. I don't know. How you how you rate him, I'd have to go by your scale. I, I believe against- in your scale maybe more than mine. You know better. <laughs> but, but if you think about it, uh, you know, we have some people. And she is considered the most left in in the entire Senate, and not the smartest. Check real or check check real Donald Trump, real Donald Trump. What's gonna uh, we, what, what are we gonna have for Hold real on. Donald? Uh, real Donald Trump. Sixty six and fifty nine. Yep. So as you can see, it's all related, and. Uh, um, by the way, he is uh, he is kind of starting with some uh, very interesting information, right? Saying uh, people that don't even know each other, maybe even don't even see each other. That, 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 that cannot say that about people who surround Biden and Kamala Harris, right? They know each other and they see each other. But he started to talk about somebody else. He started to say a little bit of truth that there are some people that nobody even <laughs> even seen and they control presidents right <laughs> like but these people <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> some of them too and you know he kind of drags this into the in, into the zone of a joke joking about what Kamala could be as a socialist or whatever but mm-hmm. as we know as i've been saying before socialism and capitalism and pretty much the same it's, it depends yeah. on who who is you know actually you know deciding what what is capitalism and what is socialism in particular country, right? Speaking of socialism, I've got a meme. Um, I'm sure it's the same in uh, communist Russia. Mom, turn off your computer. Let it rest. The fridge that's been working since the breakup of Yugoslavia. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> just sitting there. Do, do you have the same uh, phenomenon in Russia as well? Do you have like Soviet fridges that are like 60 years old? That are like yeah, work you know, perfectly? By, by the way, not only Soviet fridges work as well. These old American fridges from the 70s, from the 60s, oh, yeah. from the 50s, yeah. they're working well. Yeah. And the people knew how to make things before they started uh, to uh, give life to these, uh, you know, monsters like we are. And so <laughs> <laughs> who, who screwed up everything, you know, but these mechanics from the past, they did things, you know, that work. Uh, tell me, we're about 37 minutes in. Uh, do you want to continue with what we've got here? Uh Cued, or do you want to uh, break it up and go into a next one? Uh, I don't know. Just do it. Do whatever. We, I think we have like uh, 30 more minutes at least. So I think we can finish it all today. All right. Let me um, put this in there to uh, break up our uh, talks and uh, bring in some current events. Have you seen pictures of Lebanon before? And after the Israeli wiping out of a town with some ancient um, history in it. Someone says it's Baalbek or something, but I don't see Baalbek in in, in this footage. Maybe I'm just... No, no, uh, not... Not this video, not this, uh, fo- not that photo, but that there is another video of uh, actually Baalbek. I think I have it here, actually. Um, strike on terrorist infrastructure, says the IDF. Um, but apparently, uh, this is within Baalbek. Um, and Baalbek is like an area. It's like a neighborhood. It's mm. not just the. It's not just the 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 site you know where the but it's well, like talking about gaza that? strikes gaza mm. strikes like uh there was there was a lot of uh cases where they say that uh, some of the ancient artifacts were damaged and destroyed yeah the strike in gaza but i i'm not i'm not a witness of those and i cannot say for sure Again, I, I don't want this comedy show to be a blame to 
for uh, anti-Semitism, but uh, I can remind you and assure you that the Israelis themselves are not the only Semites we have in this world. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, people of Gaza and people of Lebanon are also could be called uh, Semitic <laughs> groups, right? So um, we have to talk about the real facts, and the real facts are that almost a year and even more passed from the uh, October 7 event, and we don't mm -hmm. even know who was actually um, in charge of... Um, or being punished or being prosecuted for these failures of uh, Israeli border uh, service failures. and so on. Yeah, we don't even know how many people were uh, put in the prison for that. And since you don't have this information, since you don't have uh, um, the fact check and that was it staged, was it scripted, was it the MI6 operation, was it CIA operation, maybe it was Iranian operation, who knows? actually since we don't have anybody prosecuted we don't have any open source information for that uh, the uh, you cannot just call us uh, uh, these ugly words as anti-semitic people because i for myself respect the people not for their nationalities i respect people for their actual doings and i understand that yeah. if you want something somebody smart and maybe um uh, very uh, uh, very uh, eager to find uh, the result uh, reach the the destination point you go to the place where smart people live right and so they did when they want to make russian revolution and they sent all these people from new york who were living there and eventually 15 commissars of uh, soviet russia were jewish and you cannot and just ignore this fact that these people were really smart and were used to create this Soviet Socialistic Republic uh, way back in the days. Are those the Trotskyites? <laughs> Mainly some of some of the people were friends of him, but some of them were also <laughs> called Bolsheviks later. But, you know, mm. these people came from New York and uh, other yeah. countries. Uh, like Germany, Austria, which sounds, we were sounds, in war with, right? So, so, so uh, sounds a lot like uh, like the aircraft carrier in the Middle East. Uh, I popped this up for a second. I just wanted to uh, play this video for illustrative purposes. Um, this is uh, anti-Semitism. We're gonna have an anti-Semitic joke in the second half when we start recording the second half. I decided we're gonna pause this recording and then I'm gonna download a joke about anti-semitism and then we're going to do another uh, recording and continue the rest but before we do that i wanted to play this video because this is uh, u.s tax dollars at work watch this boom goodbye <laughs> it's kind of like that other u.s tax dollars at work that happened when the when the that one yeah, those two buildings three buildings disappeared <laughs> These corrected bombs, uh, air, air, uh, air carried bombs, or whatever you call it, corrected air, mm. you know, but missiles. These are bunker if busters. It, yeah. These are if bunker you, busters that are like made to destroy busters. buildings. Yeah, bunker yeah. busters. They all look like controlled demolition to me. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not a big expert. So, anyway. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy how they're taking down these buildings, like they're made of, like they're made of sticks. And uh, it is crazy um, that the whole world is sitting there and watching. Talking about Mason, 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 Mason's like free buildings, <laughs> from what I understand. Um, beyond. That uh, we wanted to get into Batman and the origins of Batman. Yeah, um, since we got be this crazy information episode. recently, yeah, we got this information recently, right? That the uh, so-called Rostov uh, city of Rostov. I don't know if that's a neural link or this is a real photo from uh, in 1916, and it says the Club of Flying Bats. And look at this. I think it's just a made up, uh, made up uh, photograph. But anyway, I don't think so, man. It looks real to me, man. 
<laughs> if that yeah if that's true but we have this little newspaper article here screenshot what says that uh, these people mainly jews opened the society and called it uh society of a bad uh society right and these people were trying to patrol the streets it was highly criminal city in russia and then we know that a lot of Jews actually uh, immigrated to the United States and probably this idea of this Batman movie, a Batman film, uh, came somewhere to these people who are who run Hollywood, as, as that guy said, and who, who actually are good in writing scripts and writing scenarios for the movies and for comic books i don't know where it all started the batman itself but what i know is if you google you can do it right now um for the batman movies uh just go batman movies in google and you'll see something interesting batman movies yeah fictional we character are, yeah a just go, uh, as you can see this uh, golden uh batman uh, golden logo of uh yeah here as you can see mm -hmm. what is what are the number that you can see in the bot in 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 the uh, in the bottom of uh go to the logo of the movie go back go back go back go back oh here it is uh, yeah what number do you see if you turn your head a little bit and look at the bottom of the batman wins what number do you see uh, 33? No way. No way, man. And then go to uh, numerology. Numerology thing uh, here again. Um, All right. Uh, when you Google for the Batman itself uh, in this numerology uh, calculator, you find out nothing. That's interesting. You, But you find out 17. Knowing that Masons have 1717 as a date of their uh, um, founding of these uh, gr Grand Lodge of uh, United Kingdom and so on, whatever you call it, uh, this biggest one. And knowing that 1717 is a founding date, that's, that's it. That's it. But if you Google for the Batman movie, uh, you start typing, for example, Batman in the Google search uh, tab, you find out that they say film below uh, the, uh, the, the the search result. A a anytime you have this uh, googling of the film, they say film sometimes or movie sometimes in in in, in the bottom mm -hmm. of of the search tab, and therefore we have to take a look at the Batman film. Maybe it can bring us some information. <laughs> And there we go. We have something, right? Then we have to cross-check it with different other uh, Batman movies. Let's go to the second movie after this movie it, from 1987. The second one was <clears throat> with Penguin. By the way, check Penguin first. So some people don't even know uh, what Penguin is because there's information about penguin also so <laughs> penguin is the anti-hero um who was also the part of the elite and he looks kind of mm, you know uh, you know related to the smart people uh, um there's a there's a which, show out now there's a new show about the penguin out now like the origin story of the penguin i believe yeah maybe 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 there's a new movie but the second one i'm talking about the part uh with the penguin called batman returns uh, maybe you should take a look at this first batman returns what do we have and we have this 44 okay then we go to uh, the other names of the movies uh maybe let's just pick this the most famous ones that i've seen and uh, that's batman and robin where we have all these superstars like Schwarzenegger there and many more. Batman and Robin. 44 again. 44 again. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, let's see. Batman Returns. Batman Begins. Let's go. Batman oh, Begins. Yeah, Batman Begins. Yeah, we have Batman Begins. 
Uh, another 44 with a 36 so, bonus. I, yeah, uh, it's 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 not very hard to understand that it's all related uh, to the first movie as a 33 and spreading out uh, into these 44 corruption. Because the main topic of the the main uh, topic that Batman is covering is corruption, right? Because there's uh, so many corruptions, so the city is highly criminalized and nobody's in taking care about these law and order thing, right? Everybody just, you know, um, making money, it's all corrupted. And it looks like United States compressed to one big Chicago city, right? I think it's supposed to be Manhattan. I think it's supposed to be like New York. I think it's no. Chicago. It's Chicago because they knew it maybe. all the way that Chicago is going to have criminal problems. Yes, maybe somebody think it's New York, but it's clear Chicago for me because what's happening right now, Chicago is a good example of what's going on, where it's pure democratic anarchy. <laughs> okay. um, speaking of uh, corruption and scammers, I just want to bring this to light. Uh, everybody who's on Telegram, <clears throat> who follows me on Telegram, will know I have posted many times uh, that I will never contact you directly. So if you ever get a message that says, Hello, how are you doing, my friend? Uh, great coming on board. How are you doing? Are you enjoying the content? Do you have any reviews? Uh, just ignore them or send a screenshot like this uh, person did and then we can make memes and make fun of them so yeah stay aware of the of, of the scammers on telegram there's a lot of them and as all of you keep telling me if uh, yeah I, so have, many I, have, them, I have another joke you know about how, how 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 scamming is uh emerging in ukraine that they call in a lot of countries they have these call centers calling people mm -hmm. okay. Uh, trying to uh, send them uh, s SMS to get the uh, access to their mobile yeah, banking yeah. accounts. And so yeah. there's a joke recently uh, made by Russian Telegram. I don't know what Telegram exactly, but I, I remember it saying that six, uh, no, 82 year old um, uh, US, uh, I was a retired. Uh, retired elder uh, was scammed by Ukrainians sending them 62 billion dollars. That's it. Wait, you're saying, oh, I get it. I get accident. it. He accidentally, he accidentally <laughs> told him and send them 62 billion dollars again. And that that is the joke because the money still keep keep keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming by the way what is the situation with the credit card uh loan um debt can you show us the graph that i've been showing you maybe we should jump to this right away hold on um first of all i have to explain myself uh i didn't get that joke at first Oh, <laughs> that was hilarious. I have to say, that was a, a, a very good joke. Uh, I'm opening these things as we speak. There's three charts and one um, little it's, numerology it's, thing. It's, it's, it's because when you are always in the dark, your brain gets like... Um, <laughs> your, neck, your neck is so long uh, to reach light <laughs> as a giraffe's uh, neck. And so the, the signal goes very long time to your brain you know <laughs> that that's probably what it is um we've got the charts that you requested uh, import yeah. e export prodovolstvia sasha that's that means uh, the food from United States, import and export from uh, the food from United States. It it means is United States capable of feeding itself by 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 itself, you know? <laughs> and you can see that it's not. So, um what is the red line uh, actually saying? I can see on, on uh, netto netto what does it say? Netto export uh, it's overall Overall, overall, overall export. Is, overall is going down, so they can cannot feed themselves. Uh, check check the Russian graph, the same graph with Russians, and they uh, show that Russians. Is it yeah, this one? Yeah, Russians uh, f on the other side was buying uh, food all the way until it started to supply itself, and now we export the food to the world. 
and yeah. can't even feed ourselves. That's how capitalism works. You know, way before in Soviet times, it was the other way around. Now something changed. Something changed, and maybe that's the maybe, graph. Maybe it's maybe it's the guys that now. maybe it's the guys that Stalin uh, got rid of and sent to the gulags. <laughs> the same uh, thir thirteen Trotskyites we talked about before. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's not because the Jews are leaving America and going to Russia. No, no, no. It's because something else happening. And if we go to the other graph uh, called the credit card. And credit the card uh, debt. Hold on, that's this one. Uh, here we go. Yeah, as you can see, the spikes are during the crisis period. Uh, the first crisis we know is 2020, 2008, um, mortgage crisis, right? Mortgage uh, collapse. Mortgage, mortgage, yeah. Yeah, and the second one is uh, during pandemics when it was like uh, market collapse, stock market collapse the qe25 when they were like let's print more money and never stop printing more money forever yeah. and ever and ever <laughs> they they're doing it all the way since 1971 I've yeah yeah i know i know i know but, uh, <laughs> but but i'm saying like generally speaking like they like before they were at least pretending before they were at least pretending like we're only gonna print three billion and then we'll stop and then only another seven billion and then we'll stop only another 25 billion and then during COVID, they were like yeah we're just gonna print <laughs> you know? yeah helicopter money is called helicopter money now Un unlimited yeah credit card uh itself uh can we uh, take a look at the screenshots i've been yep. saying yeah, yeah, yeah. the credit card rep is another way to uh highlight the corruption knowing that cc itself is always 33 when they use cc um by the way like coca-cola and stuff like this sometimes they use it to highlight like big c c uh, close to each other and so on and uh, and many other things uh, but when you go to federal reserve uh also because this is graph from federal reserve right what did federal reserve say to us hold on let me open all three one two three um there we go. Reserve says uh, 38. 38. This is, uh, he, he informed 33. Federal Reserve USA is 66. And Federal itself is 33. So it's all the way around uh, 33. Uh, credit card loan, government corruption, scripted event, which is bringing us closer to financial collapse than we were before. And that's why you United States cannot feed itself anymore by itself. It's not food independent. Uh, it's not food sustainable. Uh, You're because, a conspiracy theorist. Because You're this financial theorist. bubble, which was blowing a little bit, only a little bit in 2008, is still going on, this mortgage bubble, this uh, real estate uh, raise of prices. Uh, this, uh, in, not only in the United States, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And uh, last time United States government saved our asses. Now, knowing all these scripted things and collapse itself being a 33, knowing all these things, uh, we know it's a plan B for, for, for these hegemons to press the button uh, sooner or later to delete this huge debt amount. I think they're gonna grow it all the way to 38 billion or maybe even 44 billion, and then they're gonna blow it up. That's why I was saying a year ago, or maybe a year and a half ago, that I believe the financial collapse everybody's talking about, the dollar collapse is gonna happen in 2027, 2028, at plus minus uh, half a year. Uh, so that's my prediction. So you think we still got time? All right, that's good. Yes. Everybody, yes. this is a reminder that this channel is not eligible for monetization and that uh, you can buy me a coffee before the world financial system goes to shit. And uh, you can also become a patron if you are so inclined. Thank you to everyone who has contributed. And if you can't, you can always like, share, subscribe, show this to a friend of yours and tell him, look, it's funny and it's informative. Um, yeah. 
these guys are talking shit and they making fun of it. Uh, speaking of talking shit, one of the topics uh, that we uh, covered before is the mud flood. This is a picture from Russia where it says uh, free book reading, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this is a very uh, underground structure, wouldn't you say? Doesn't this look like it should be the top yeah, recently, level of a four level building, maybe? Recently, I found a lot of these, uh, you know, I would say Im redacted photos. They, you know, uh, highlight the areas uh, of uh, these supposed uh, mud flood buildings, but don't show the surrounding buildings. And if you go to the full, uh, full version of this photo, you find mm -hmm. out that other buildings sometimes too have the same uh, design, different basically. design, design, design. The, the worms windows design, I would call it. Uh, mm -hmm. So. You have to watch the worms, otherwise, why would you build a church for just for praying? That's stupid. You have to watch the worms, right? Worms around worms? worms, worms. The worms, worms. Hey, these in the uh, ground. Like, yeah, these guys <laughs> living in the ground. Worms. <laughs> um. So you're saying the buildings were created for worms? Is that yes. the, the way you see? That's 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 what it looks like, as you can see. Uh, I have no any other logical explanation for this. <laughs> Why would you make a window in the ground looking at um, the soil? The logical explanation for this guy being head and shoulders above everyone else is that he's on a chair, right? And probably that's the giraffe type of uh, a guy who doesn't get the joke from the first time. That's why he's, you know, <laughs> being pushed to fresh air. <laughs> um, do you do you think giants existed? Um, I don't think they existed. I think they still exist, but they've been dissolved <laughs> in a in this vast amount of people, and so the. Uh, the average height of, of these vast amount of people raised a little bit, but the average height of giants went down to the average height of people. So that's why we see no, uh, you know, no giants. But all all but these we giants see... were mass massacred. You know, all these books say giants were so bad mm. that they killed everybody. That's what they say. We constantly find these kind of things everywhere. This was not built for people our size. Like, this is... In no way was this built as a fence, you know, for a balcony, yeah. for people our size. I think there's a lot of things that are going on that we're not being told about. Perhaps, perhaps, no? perhaps. Uh, well, highly likely, as British used to say. Highly likely, huh? Um, how do you feel about uh, robots taking over the world? If they won't rob me or I don't know, st steal my computer or my headphones, <laughs> uh, I would be fine that they be you know delivering food or something. I think that's okay. But you know, eventually we go to something else. Maybe robots start fighting uh, people sooner or later, as they say in the movies. Who knows? I don't the want that robot to career. Much. And the mobilized robot courier. How do you feel about the whole uh, proliferation of robots and and drones in war? Do you think uh, we've gone to Terminator mode? Do you think we've gone I, beyond saving? I think that's the the the, the same uh, you know parts of the same chain of uh, events. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, step by step. You know, bringing us closer to extermination of people and replacing them with something cheaper in uh, maintenance and uh, something cheaper in uh, expenses. So uh, less expenses, more profits. That's what they're thinking about. Um, <clears throat> before we go on to uh, some other comedic stuff I've got here lined up, uh, you had uh, uh, other... 
numerology stuff that you send Erdogan and Gulen. Do you want me to oh. open those up to cover? Yeah. yeah, that's just another example of what's happening all the way. You know, we all know about the case with Erdogan. Uh, who is Erdogan? But we didn't check him yet before. Now, as his best frenemy was... Um, <laughs> was killed or or maybe just died i don't know i'm not the uh, coroner to give the the uh, the exact uh, cause who of is? his death remind but me who was is gulan is that is that the guy who tried to do the coup before that's the guy that he is a uh, uh, so-called frenemy uh, he is he was his friend now he's his enemy so uh, he was the one who was supposed to make coup a couple times recently and one uh maybe assassination attempt also on Erdogan. that was good that, man, yeah that was when the that was when the yeah the russians the supposedly call. saved yeah that's when the putin call was yeah that's his name, uh, Fetullah. As you can see, Fetullah. Uh, it's spelled in Google as M. Dot Fetullah. So if you check M. Fetullah, is forty four. Fetullah yeah. is 39, which is uh, also hidden form of uh, thirty three. And uh, his uh, full name, uh, Gulen. What is Gulen? Yeah, sixty six. Double, double 66 and looking at Erdogan his uh, his frenemy is 99 uh, it's a uh, upside down 66 Invert, also. Yeah. yeah so that's a script case for me it looks like it at least <laughs> um do you get tired of like looking everywhere yes, I, and finding and, and finding that everything everywhere is always scripted no not really but you know I, I'm not doing it like I'm not overloading myself with this information. I'm trying to, uh, I'm just, if you see it, you stop and you check. That's what, what, what I do. I'm not just scrolling every, every news. I see, if I see something, mm -hmm. it's getting recommended by YouTube, for example, it's getting recommended to me as a search result for some certain uh, keywords that I type in the search bar. If it's shown to me this way, I always cross check because, you know, first I need to know if it's scripted or not first and then to be serious or not about the case. Okay. Yeah. What can I say? Uh, pretty sure that uh, you just see it all as code, like the guy in the Matrix who's looking at the Matrix and just sees no. numbers everywhere. <laughs> yes, maybe, 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 maybe. Um. We've got another funny video. I can't remember if you shared this with me or if I shared this with you, but this is hilarious. Uh, this is from Africa. It's I'm not sure from where. The full name of this person. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the look at the score <laughs> first. <laughs> by accident, by accident. Let's see, learn. That's actor Jason <laughs> Uh Oh yes, we've got this. I forgot what it's called, but it's by... Oh, it's... Um, Lies Wide Shut, I think it's called. By the Boar Brothers on uh, X, formerly Twitter. I'm going to play it, and uh, you guys can have a look and uh, see what you think. I might mute it because it's probably uh, copyrighted. Um, but yeah, uh, every single frame here should be paused and examined i wanted to get your take on this i'm sure you've seen it but no oh, you haven't see seen it. this see no, no, I didn't see oh it. this is hilarious it's ai obviously but it's yeah. just unbelievable like every single frame here you should want, be paused you, and analyzed you wonder, you wonder why they use pizza here just go, uh, scroll for, <laughs> we for know yeah. The subscribers should know why they use pizza. They should know why he's a lizard. They should know why Kim Jong-un is eating and drinking Pepsi. Um, yeah, but there's the a lot of stuff is, here. The problem is that Trump was talking about people that nobody sees. So these can't be these people that we see. You know? Yeah, but you know what I think is funny? Um, that Trump... Uh, not Trump. What's his face? Musk here is pictured with a corgi 
and the corgi is the queen's little favorite dog if you remember and he's south african so technically you know he's part of the queen's yeah exactly stuff <laughs> you know yeah so there's a lot of things here look at her like little emblem it's almost like my little emblem here um anyway but yeah uh this is well worth watching it's hilarious every single scene here should be <laughs> jet fuel with george bush and that movie that got that guy killed i mean suicided <laughs> um the same guy who did that thing for the moon stuff yeah and by the way this got... b- b- blue screen uh case with microsoft and bill gates right mm-hmm. also really related to microsoft it has clear 333s 39s in it exactly the the uh, blue screen itself of the microsoft itself and the uh, corporation that was also involved in creating this software that put down all these computers worldwide for 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 several hours i think maybe even more somebody was having problems for for, for i can't remember day. what it's called i can't remember what it's called now off the top of my head but we did an episode and if i remember when i'm uh, going through this to like uh process it and upload it i will put a link uh, uh yeah we... that, don't worry about crowd it. strike can find crowd it strike CrowdStrike, I Crowd think CrowdStrike, Microsoft, and the blue screen itself, the O39. Yeah. So <laughs> this case is scripted all the way. Yeah. Uh, who's surprised by that? <laughs> you know? Um, all right. I think uh, we've covered enough. Is there anything else yep. that we uh, didn't touch no. upon that you want to cover? Anything uh, in the not, news? The, not the, the maybe, really. Uh, uh, you can point your finger at anything sent to me and i'll cross check mm-hmm. you I'll, be, I'll find everything you want about this right. uh, event so excellent uh, let's do it for the next uh we should have been talking about the uh, waltz we should be talking about these vice president's cases also but i think i'll do it by myself because it's boring it's all facts 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 numbers 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 it's just you know what I think, in general, people should know, know all these collapses coming. I was talking about this in, 19, in 2019, in December, I think the video was uh, my video about what's coming up as a financial reset. And what I was saying exactly is put your money in the gold, but not in the gold, in the paper gold. Put your money in the real gold. And now we know gold is skyrocketing is almost three thousand uh dollars per ounce already on the market of course the 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 price might be lower in uh in 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 a in, in the gold market uh officially but you cannot find gold cheaper than uh three thousand uh, per ounce uh out there in the shops or whatever uh, you cannot buy any little bars you cannot buy anything anymore it's all you know very long procedure and you have to put a lot of money to buy something real right now and that's not the end for the price price is still gonna be skyrocketing for the next two three years and maybe we can see isn't it gold like when the dollar collapses when the dollar collapses and and the the, you know new currency is put in uh isn't it supposed to be something like equivalent to like thirty thousand dollars like the ounce of gold it's supposed to go up to thirty thousand basically i'm not sure i'm not sure i think it's they they're gonna stop at three thousand for for a while and maybe then it's gonna be like ten thousand so it's gonna be Mm -hmm. big jump big jump yeah yeah because technically we, we if we talk about uh why they doing it they were buying cheap gold for years secretly all these countries all these banks they've been buying this gold buying this gold buying this gold and that's it and now all these bloggers fact, and alternative eventually they start to you know trying to advertise these gold investment funds funds and gold to these gold that lear capital basically i was just gonna say this is a comedy yeah. show we're not giving you financial advice don't go buy any gold yeah. 
Like we're don't not go. telling you to buy. Go- we're we're not telling you to buy anything. We're, don't, don't don't do it, and don't don't do it. Also, just do what you but were gonna do anyway. <laughs> you can buy whatever you guys want. Buy Pepsi Cola, for example. That would be. No, don't. It. That's poison, man. That's poison. Drink water. Yeah. Drink some good water. Yeah. Try not to get it fluoride, though. Um, it's just it's just an advice for the people who think, right? Who cannot think. Uh, they go ahead and just skip this video and don't send you buy me a coffee, anything. <laughs> so these people <laughs> just passing by, and we are Basically. over for today. Next time we're gonna discuss the October events and may- maybe I can find a lot more interesting than this time, and maybe we can do it before the election day. Why not? Definitely, we'll look into we'll look into what happens in the next month or so, and we'll be back. I just want to flash this meme up, uh, sent into chat. Uh, alcohol, Islam, Bosnia. Did you just take both pills? <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Um, in any case, I think that's all we've got time for today. Everybody who stuck around, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. As always, Philip, thank you for stopping by. It's been an excellent talk. Um, yeah. Anything you want to pop out there while we do no, the outro? I just, I just did. I just did. All right. Excellent. Um, yeah. Everyone, check out some of the older videos on the channel. There's a lot of stuff on this channel, not just this video. All right. That's it. See you later. Bye-bye.